You said there's a team in the region from the U.S. You've said there are interested uh, counterparts to, to speak to. Uh, who are they and why would they show up to these talks given that the guy who was heading the talks for Hamas is, is now dead? What reason do they have to, to poke their heads up above ground? And then I have a second one. As I also said, it, it's too soon to know what these reports are gonna mean for the ceasefire deal. What we do know is we have a team in the region. What we do know is we wanna keep having these conversations uh, and we believe they're still worth having. We also haven't seen any indications at 2.07 uh, on Wednesday afternoon here, the 31st of July, that the process has been completely torpedoed and it ain't worth pursuing. So we're gonna keep pursuing it. Process being torpedoed completely or otherwise. Uh, my colleagues and I have spoken to family members of hostages who are still being held, <coughs> and the view among many of them is that uh, Netanyahu and his government do not want to deal, uh, and Netanyahu in particular does not want to deal because if there is a deal and the war ends, his government collapses and he possibly uh, continues on trial for corruption and goes to prison. Does the president still believe that uh, the prime minister is acting in good faith here? Based on the constructive conversations that we had with the prime minister last week, we still believe that this is a worthy endeavor. We still believe that the gaps can be narrowed, the details can be fleshed out, and a deal can be had. Now again, it's too soon to know what these recent events over the last 24, 48 hours are going to do to the process. I don't want to sound overly sanguine here. But we still believe the deal on the table is worth pursuing, and the hostages need to come home. And, and we're not going to stop trying to work on that. Those conversations, all, all of them took place before uh, the events of, of the last uh, few days. Uh, is the president open to changing his view uh, based on what has happened? I mean, I, I've never known President Biden to ever not be willing to, to look at things with a fresh set of eyes. Um, and as I said earlier, it's just too soon to know, with the reports coming out of the region, what kind of impact there's going to be on the ceasefire deal. What I can tell you he hasn't changed his mind on is we gotta, that we want to get the deal, that we want to pursue it, that the deal on the table is a good one. Both sides ought to accept it. They ought to sit down in earnest and hash through these details that have to be fleshed out and, 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 uh, and close the gaps that we believe can be closed, and let's move forward. Let's get phase one in, in place. He hasn't changed his mind on that, not at all. Thank you. Thank you so much, Admiral. Thanks.